why you should resist the urge to rinse before loading your dishwasher. A debate over whether or not you should rinse before you load your dishwasher is raging after Boris Johnson's climate spokeswoman suggested it was a bad idea. Allegra Stratton wants people to fill their drawers with filthy plates, cutlery and crockery without giving them a quick blast first. In an article for The Telegraph, she also suggested replacing plastic shower gel bottles with a bar or cardboard packaging, freezing half a loaf of bread rather than throwing the other half away, or walking to the shops instead of driving. She added, on your own, we are not pretending these steps will stop climate change. Her suggestions were met with ridicule by environmentalists and opposition parties who say the measure doesn't go far enough. Carolyn Lucas, former Green Party leader, simply tweeted, yeah that'll fix it. Extinction Rebellion responded, wow thanks for that. More global leadership on the number climate emergency from this useless government. What's happening at at COP26? Top dishwashing tips? However, her idea may not be all that bad. According to Popsy.com, you could waste up to 27 gallons per load if you rinse everything first. A standard dishwasher cycle uses 3 to 6 gallons. The Wall Street Journal says your dishes actually need to be dirty in order for dishwasher detergent to do its job properly, and Good Housekeeping describes it as a time suck and that the dishes won't get any cleaner if they've been rinsed first. Labour's Shadow Environment Secretary Luke Pollard told Metro.co.uk, the planet is on fire and we are living in a climate and ecological emergency. If the government's best answer is rinsing dishes, we are in serious trouble. Calling for a Green New Deal, he added, we need the government to show proper leadership starting with investments in green industries at home, as well as global leadership ahead of COP26. The Conservatives have delivered neither. They are failing to meet our climate targets and are putting our futures at risk with their reckless approach. Others pointed out that many Brits don't even have a dishwasher and highlighted the government's environmental failings, including Boris Johnson flying from London to Cornwall to talk about climate Fossil change. Fossil fuel polluters react at ALLEGRACOP26 latest distractions pick.twitter.com IIEA9 CRMRK THATA circumflex euros LL fix it D number sorted number man will burns HTTPS colon slash slash T dot co slash call fio here is our environmentally conscious PM er flying from London to Cornwall dpick.twitter.com E61 cake UZ7 F7Z honestly I'd take a straight up climate denier over this inane shite. It's a twee abandonment of government responsibility, like seeing a burning building and being told by the fire brigade that it'll get put out once we all squirt water pistols at it. Ms. Stratton's idea came from Reckitt, a company which has been publicly supportive of climate initiatives, but previously criticized by Amnesty International over its palm oil procurement and has been taken to court by the climate group Earth Justice. The COP26 Climate Summit spokeswoman was also criticized for pushing responsibility onto individuals when a study in 2017 found that 71% of all emissions came from 100 companies alone. Green Party co-leader Jonathan Bartley told Metro.co.uk, the focus on what individuals should be doing to increase their climate credentials is typical of this government, pushing responsibility elsewhere and simultaneously trivializing the huge efforts people are making to help tackle the climate emergency every day to rinsing plates. What we really need to see is some serious investment and action at a national level, and the government showing some leadership to make headway on a global scale at COP. In recent weeks there has been an unprecedented heat dome in Canada, wildfires scorching the western USA and record-breaking floods in Europe and China. Minister sorry for chaos at airports as thousands queue to leave UK Don Butler supported by concerned Tory MPs apostrophe after calling Boris Johnson a liar Tory MPs to be suspended for trying to influence judges in Charlie Elphicky trial meanwhile in the UK warnings have been flooding in from scientists about hot weather with concerns that heat related deaths could triple in 30 years and the country could see its first 40 degrees centigrade day within a decade Ms Stratton who recently told the Times she has no plans to get rid of her diesel car or gas boiler anytime soon, defended her comments. Asked why she thought other parties and organizations were critical of her article, she told The Independent, when people say to me, what can they do, they can do many things, they can join Greenpeace, they can join the Green Party, they can join the Tory Party, so there's lots of ways they can get involved in politics, but for those people who wouldn't do that, how do you start to change your life in manageable achievable feasible small ways? I was trying to connect with people who, my understanding is, feel that it's too much and too overwhelming to process. What I'm trying to do is speak to people who may not be doing anything. 
Get in touch with our news team by emailing us at webnews at metro.co.uk. For more stories like this, check our news page. More record-shattering heatwaves will become much more common, says Climate Study Not Convinced. Find out more.